there is a probabilistic setup for Bitcoin that is very close to firing off. And if it does indeed fire off in this next, I guess, 24 hour session, it would be a good indication that Bitcoin is in for a, perhaps a bit of a reversal. However, I want to be very, very uh, clear here because perhaps a better title would have been for today's video, danger until this happens for price. Realistically, just a continuation of, uh, of yesterday's analysis and the day before that as well. And also a very important message at the end of this video, as always. Anyways, first things first, I actually want to go over to traditional marks here. This is NASDAQ. Uh, uh, NQ futures. And we can see very obviously that, yes, while this one does likely try a little bit more upside, this is unlikely to be like a straight fucking shot to the moon from here. We should expect a more sort of prolonged kind of sideways consolidation period where, you know, we see marks kind of churn their wheels sideways and things get more boring again, I suspect. But um, with that in mind, as we go over here to the weekly time frame, you know, overall, this is really shaping up to be a, a, a potentially a very, very powerful next higher low in a series of higher lows throughout the last uh, year and a half now. So ultimately, it's 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 more or less a game of time, but I wouldn't be surprised to see something like this for traditional marks here, you know, pop up, test one of these major moving averages, come back down, set in a higher low, and then go for the real move and take out this uh, 19,700 ish region right here. At that point, you know, it's probably all all green lights ahead. And this can take obviously some time, you know, I'm still looking probably into September, honestly, uh, which means that we got some weeks here to kind of chew up and and spit out. But as we get into Bitcoin, let's go check out some Tuesday we can see that Tuesday actually has been a more likely to close negatively day than positive day since um, since 2024 began. And as we can see, as far as the negative returns go, Tuesday has the highest negative returns of any weekday, that is. And actually one of the lowest positive returns for any weekday as well. In fact, it is the lowest uh, positive return weekday at 180. So let's see what that would look like uh, in terms of creating a bit of a range for price action today. Taking today's open, adding about 180 to the upside, what would that, where would that put Bitcoin? basically back around yesterday's high um, and to the downside if we were to shave off about 270 well that would put bitcoin basically right down around yesterday's low so kind of giving us a um a range <laughs> basically a very similar range to yesterday so perhaps just a, a boring day ahead um in fact now that i recognize it uh tuesday is also one of the more low lower volatility days although uh, it is outdone by thursday as of recent times anyways moving on from there i do want to get into some should we go into the setup first or the risk first? No, let's go into the setup first. Let's make it a little bit more fun. All right, so first things first, um, or well, I guess this is like second thing second at this point, uh, but we do have a potential for another one of these five days, or sorry, not five day setups, but five EMA setups on the daily here. The last one obviously failed. Uh, the 12 hour setup did work out. In fact, both of these are probably gonna fire off uh, simultaneously if they are gonna work out at all. But there's actually something very interesting here as well, albeit a gambler's fallacy, but we have seen the last two trades fail. We saw the last two trades fail and this 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 strategy does have a strike rate of about almost 33 percent which means that you should expect about two out of every three trades to fail and what do you know before that two failing trades got a winner right here before that two failing trades got a winner right here same thing before that and before that and before that actually so weird it is again it is a gambler's fallacy but perhaps something to be aware of because we did just see uh two failing trades in a row in, uh, in a row anyways the five exponential as of right now is at fifty nine thousand five hundred. so if bitcoin does close the daily above there this will actually fire off another setup and of course it does have a higher probability to lose again but going in the into the performance summary right here we can see that the average winning trade is uh quite significant, um, actually in the low 20% uh, in terms of average returns and the average losing trade, losing th two and three quarters um, percent on average. In fact, I believe that's exactly how much the last losing trade uh, did lose right here. Let me just double check though. I do want to see um, exactly what this was. No, that was actually uh, almost double that about uh, two or sorry, 483. Um, now this setup is likely going to be compounding with the 12 hour setup because this one is also going to be firing off uh, at about the same price point 59,630 but this is on a 12 hour time frame uh, schedule so it will it will have a chance to actually clear that in the next four hours and 43 minutes and six seconds and yes the last one did work out we identified this one last thursday boom uh this one opened at around 59,400 or so and closed uh what was a sunday at 58,750 or so of course this one also did actually hit the average um return uh basically the day after so you know you could have 
managed this actually and taken profits at about sixty two and a half thousand bucks would have been a pretty nice trade actually, seeing as it's about five thousand bucks in profit in terms of price action. But uh, but going into it right here, you know, again we have a a a, a setup a strategy that has about a two and three chance um, to lose. And, uh, and it just had a winner. And in the performance summary, we can see that the average winning trade has actually uh, 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 returned about nine and a half percent. The average losing trade losing about two percent on average there as well. So this is uh, rather interesting to me because if we do see both of these fire off at the same time, you know, you might see uh, or you might kind of interpret that as as confluence, as compounding. And um, and in that case, you know. Uh, there's actually not a higher probability of an upside move. There is actually, there is actually a, lower, a higher probability of a downside move. But if it does take the upside route of that, you know, we could be looking at uh, a pretty decent move here. Um, you know, on the lower end, 10%. On the upper end, uh, 20% um, over the course of the next uh, few weeks. So, you know, from the 12-hour uh, perspective here, again, if it does fire off, it still has yet to obviously do that. It's it's potential to do it. Um, but, you know, about 9% to the upside would put Bitcoin back around 64500 bucks. That is a very, very important number because it would imply, if met, that Bitcoin would trade above Thursday's high. Thursday's high of 62,734, or sorry, uh, 730 um, on, uh, on the index here. So why is that important? Well, when we go back to this chart right here, that is essentially the rejection thus far and also the 618 Fibonacci retracement for this current move to the upside. And so if Bitcoin does pop back above there, this would essentially be confirmation of me that this low is in and it's time to be, be just looking up. I suppose, I, you know, maybe there's going to be still some more sideways. I, I do still think that marks kind of take their time here. Um, but uh, but yeah, you know, that would be rather significant, kind of solidifying this as the next major low. Um, but here's the thing, you know, it's got a lot of work to do. And until that happens, you know, there is there is more risk to the downside, obviously. In fact, going to the five day time frame right here, which just closed again last night, we're going to see the five day stochastic also to have a fresh turn to the downside and play out one of these uh, more long term regressions here. Also, rejecting the bullish control zone, which is, uh, you know, important in and of itself. And that remains to the downside. Guess where? The pivot is 62,600. So basically, that same price to the upside. So as long as Bitcoin's living below there, you know, you should be, I shouldn't say you should be, but uh, I would be looking at. At this as hey this one can very easily come back down in the short term somewhere around fifty seven thousand bucks give or take a you know a few bucks from that number and play out kind of a similar move to what we saw yesterday you know it could very easily look i mean i guess like we already have it over here but um or i guess i already have it right there let me just get a fresh chart you know it could very easily look something like this where it pops up in the short term boom comes back down sets in a higher low and then tries to real move to the upside obviously you know the worst case scenario is that it just <laughs> plummets right through and to be fair you know over here on the weekly for cme where is bitcoin's rejection for the last two you know for for this week thus far to the upside and last week as well is right at the median so as long as bitcoin is living below there there is, you know, you should be interpreting that as, again, you should do, I should be interpreting that as risk to the downside. Um, of course, it's not financial advice. I'm not financial advice. I'm kind of showing you what I'd be doing in these sort of situations. And actually, I'm uh, trading a very similar strategy, not the exact same one, but a very, very similar strategy to this 12 hour one right here, actually, on one of my bot accounts using this service. Um, it's actually. Uh, it's it's i've seen a few trades go through now and it's actually it's actually kind of hilarious watching them go through um anyways uh in this case you know the bottom side of the weekly uh hpdr for the 38 two levels fifty five thousand bucks so you know that is showing uh that is showing risk down there um going over here to the daily for spot price action we can see that the median is finally starting to tick up here so i do look at that as an overall good sign that bitcoin is likely going to put in a low uh but again that can that can that can also imply that it does pop back down there first test and then actually play out the move to the upside. And I think that's probably what's more likely to happen here. Although my opinion on that is like not super important um, for it to actually happening or not. Uh, the most important thing is, of course, getting back above that Thursday high. That's the big one, especially on a closing basis. But for right now, you know, again, very easily could see something like this. Boom, pop back down there, then play out that five EMA on the uh, on the 12 hour and daily over here and then and then well at that point you're very likely going to be you know 
trading back above this pivot here and then boom um you know big move to the upside uh, most likely so that's kind of like the final boss for this current consolidation as far as i'm concerned and uh and basically what i'm waiting for um or not what I'm waiting for, but but what for my little bot slave is waiting for, getting ready to crack the whip and do some shit over there. Anyways, we are nearly at the end of this video, so it is time for me to leave you with yet another life hack. If you've ever been to uh, perhaps like a department store, I don't know, like a, a Costco or a Target or a Walgreens or Walmart, these sort of stores, they typically have these phones that you can, well, to, not you can, but the employees use these phones that are publicly located on the floor of that place. Uh, place and they use it to like you know talk to each other and shit like that you know call out important stuff anyways here is a little hack that you can also do if you are not familiar with such things <laughs> Thank you.